हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंग्लिश ग्रामर क्लास आवर टूडेज लेसन इज शॉर्ट एंसर टूडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू गिव अ शॉर्ट रिप्लाई टू अ क्वेश्चन इन इन दिस इज यूजली यूज इन आवर डेली कन्वर्सेशन सो गिविंग शॉर्ट आंसर टू अ क्वेश्चन इज अ फीचर ऑफ इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज लेसन how to give a short answer to a question suppose i am i am writing question over here and uh, also answer how to give a short answer for example if i ask is this is this a history book is this a history book question mark okay if you have to give answer in yes then you will say in short yes it is this is the short reply is this a history book yes it is if it is not a history book if it is it is a book other than history book for example english book or any other book then you have to give answer in negative and your negative answer will be like this no it is not not this is the short answer you don't have to say is this a history book yes it is a history book this will be a long answer your short answer will be yes it is if in if you have to give a, a negative reply you have to say no it is not but in in case of saying yes you have to write you have to say yes and in case of saying no you have to say no next question so, so this is the number 1 question number 2 was he present in the class was he present in the class if yes you have to say like this yes he was okay and you have to say no then you have to say no he wasn't no he wasn't okay wasn't short and form you have to say no he wasn't don't say like this no he was not he no he wasn't now in the two examples what do we see in in case of uh, saying answer in yes what a structure do we find in case of affirmative sentence ya yeah, in case of affirmative reply the structure of the sentence is yes plus it pronoun plus is is means auxiliary auxiliary similarly look here yes he was yes plus he he means pronoun plus was was means auxiliary yes plus it it means pronoun is means auxiliary so in case of giving uh, affirmative reply the sent the structure of the sentence will be yes plus pronoun plus auxiliary now look at the two answers here no it is not no he wasn't so uh, while giving uh, a negative reply the sentence extra structure will be like this no plus it or here he that is pronoun after that no he wasn't it is it is is means auxiliary 
auxiliary plus not not so the sentence structure of a negative short answer will be no plus pronoun plus auxiliary plus not but in case of affirmative short answer the sentence structure will be yes plus pronoun plus auxiliary yes plus pronoun plus auxiliary no plus pronoun plus auxiliary plus not this is extra you have to keep it in mind now let's ask the third question has he done homework if yes yes he has you have to apply auxiliary from the question itself you can know the auxiliary from the question itself has is the auxiliary that uh, 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 in the question so this auxiliary will be used in giving short answer yes he has if negative short answer is then no he hasn't no he hasn't number 4 is it is it raining yes it is yes it is okay no it is not yes it is no it is not now question number 5 does she like sweets does she like sweets if yes then yes she does she does okay yes she does if negative then no she doesn't doesn't contraction you always contraction uh, while giving short answer in our speaking no she doesn't so in this way you have to uh, give answers now suppose number 6 did he did he come by train did he come by train this is simple past tense yes he did yes he did if negative short answer is then no he didn't no he didn't always remember you have to give auxiliary you have to write auxiliary and did is auxiliary in the simple past tense and does and do is the uh, uh, auxiliary in the simple present tense next can he speak french can he speak french yes he can okay so can is used here as an auxiliary 
No. He. No, he can't. So, in case of negative, you have to write can't. Question. Uh, let's see one, one example more. Will you? Sorry. Will you lend me your mobile? Will you lend me your mobile? Yes. I'll. Yes, I'll. If your reply is in affirmative. And in case of negative short answer, the answer will be no. I won't. You know, won't is the shortened form of will not. So, these are the some uh, these are the examples of uh, giving short answer to questions so this is the way how to uh, reply short answer to a long question remember in case of affirmative when when you want to give answer in yes you have to remember this structure yes plus pronoun plus auxiliary and in case of giving negative reply to a short question question you have to remember this structure no plus pronoun plus auxiliary plus not so this is uh, the way to uh, give short answer to a long question let's see some more examples um, where uh, the short answer will be of different type students <clears throat> sometimes in our day to day conversation with our friends sometimes we agree with him or we don't agree with it, with him in certain matters we agree with our friends and in certain matters we don't agree with our friends so there may be four different type of situations uh, 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 where we can uh, agree with or we, ca uh, we, ca we can't agree with so there may be four different situations so let's see how in those situations we should uh, give a very short answer for example when there is agreement with affirmative statements if the statement is affirmative and if I agree with that statement, how to reply them? For example, if I say, if I say the Quran is a holy book. The Quran is a holy book. So this is an affirmative statement. And if I agree with this statement, then I shall reply like this yes it is yes it is so this is the way of uh, giving short answer to an affirmative statement if you agree with it similarly if I say light light travels <coughs> light travels faster than sound light travels faster than sound this is an affirmative statement if you agree with this statement your answer should be like this of course of course it does Remember, your sentence should start with uh, yes or of course and then 
with a pronoun you can you can uh, uh, um, uh, give answer either with yes or of course yes it is or you can also say of course it is of course it does why i have uh, used does here because the sentence is in the simple present tense like travels faster than so on so you have to uh, use auxiliary it does similarly <coughs> children like playing children children like playing okay so this is the affirmative sentence you can you can write of course of course of course they do of course they do so remember does do is auxiliary so in all these sent uh, answers auxiliary have been used so this is one situation where you agree with affirmative statements if there is agreement with agreement with ne negative statements this is the second situation where you can agree with negative statements for example mangoes mangoes are suppose these mangoes are not sweet so this is a negative statement these mangoes are not sweet your short answer will be like this no they are rent short and form aren't remember you have to राइट हियर नो हिंदी में या उर्दू में हम लोग कैसे बोलते हैं अगर हम कहें कि ये आम मीठे नहीं है तो हम लोग हम लोग जवाब ऐसे थे हाँ ये मीठे नहीं हम लोग हाँ बोलते हैं उर्दू या हिंदी में लेकिन ऑलवेज इन इंग्लिश योर आंसर विल बी विथ स्टार्ट विथ नो इफ यू अग्री विथ नेगेटिव स्टेटमेंट दीज मैंगोज आर नॉट स्वीट नो दे आर नॉट ही कांट speak french okay he can't speak speak french so no he no he can't okay no he can't <coughs> the moon is not bigger than the sun the moon is not bigger than the sun this is a negative statement if you agree yes sorry no it is it is not okay no it is not so here are two different situations where you agree with affirmative statements and you agree with negative statements so in case of affirmation with affirmative sentence you have to answer reply in this way yes it is of course and in case of agreement with negative statement you have to reply in this way no they are like this now let's see the two more different situations where where we shall see how to give a short answer <laughs> now the third situation may be when you can disagree with affirmative statements where 
you disagree with affirmative statements affirmative statements you are disagreeing with you are denying you are negating it is clear that when you are negating an affirmative statement that means you are saying no to an affirmative statement for example if i say graphite graphite is a metal it is a affirmative statement and you say you disagree with it you are denying de denying it yeah you are negating it then you say no it is not no it is not so you can use no or sometime oh no see another example you were sleeping in the class you were sleeping in the class this is an affirmative statement and you are denying it you are saying no then you can say even you can write oh no oh no i wasn't you were sleeping in the class oh no i wasn't okay he broke the glass he broke the glass you can say oh no he didn't he didn't because the sentence is in simple past tense here uh, broke is the past uh, tense of the verb break so the auxiliary will be did and the sentence and as as you are denying so here will be not oh no he didn't so when you disagree with affirmative statements your answer should start with no or oh no and then write the sentence in negative now the last and the fourth uh, situation may be disagreement disagreement with negative statements negative statements that is the sentence is negative the sentence has the element no okay you are disagreeing with it then you can write it in the positive you you have to make it, make it positive for example disagreeing with negative statement suppose the statement is suppose i say it will not rain it will not rain it will not rain this is the negative statement you are denying it it means you are saying it opposite to it iska ulta bolenge to yahan par kya nahi oh yes yahan par kya tha no or oh no yahan par aaj kiya yes oh yes oh yes it will short answer okay similarly he he didn't drive fast he didn't drive fast negative statement you will say oh yes oh yes he did he did so your answer will be yeah oh yes he did and you didn't break the glass you didn't break the glass oh yes you did 
Oh yes, you did. So, when there are negative statements and you are disagreeing, you write it opposite to negative, that is affirmative. When there is affirmative statement, you write opposite to A, that is negative statement. So, did, did, okay, and auxiliary will. So, always remember, we will use pronoun and auxiliary. Oh yes, it, pro, uh, pronoun. He didn't drive fast. Oh yes, he, pronoun. You, pronoun. Similarly here also, he, pronoun. It, pronoun. Okay? I, pronoun. He, pronoun. And auxiliary, did, is. So, so this was, so these are the, uh, so uh, these are the dif uh, four different situations where you, I, I, either you can agree with uh, uh, affirmative statement and negative statements and uh, you can also uh, disagree with affirmative statement and negative statement. So when, when there will be situations like this, you will have to give short answers in this way. So this was all about short answer or how to uh, give a short answer or write a short answer. I hope you got the today's lesson very well. Thank you very much.